Guys, you see these people, eh, these women, they no get shame. One bit. According to the information reaching us alleged, they said KVC was embarrassed, as in big time embarrassed, over what his wife's Igbi and the uh, Olori TikTok did during one of their outings for the New Yam festival celebration that was going on. According to the information, they said uh, if any time they want to celebrate this New Year festival, KBAC will need to will have to go and visit some small small villages in the Odua Kingdom, you know. And when he go there, he will pray for them, and they bless their harvest. Then they will start to celebrate their own New Year festival. But before that, they said those people will bring some of their farm produce. To the palace, you know, to come and appreciate the gods of their land, and they pay homage to the head of the, uh, of their village because Kabiesi's Kabi palace is regarded as the as their home, you know. Why all these other places are their sub homes? Let me just put it that way. So Kabiesi is moving from one town to the other to go and bless them, bless their uh, farm produce. And by so doing, they will start the celebration. So, why Kabiesi was going to one of these villages from what we heard? They said she was going with uh, Igbi. You know that one thing about Igbi is that, uh, I don't know if because she is the first wife, yes, because she sees herself as the first wife. She's not the first wife, but Kwenomi is the first wife, but don't get me wrong. Because Kwenomi was not doing the representation, she is the one doing all of that. So, Anywhere KBS is going, they say she is going with her, with him. That is according to their schedule, you know. So, Kabi, uh, Igwe went with KBS with some of the elders and uh, the entourage to one of the places, one of the villages that they have to go and they bless their own farm produce so that they will start their own New Year festival celebration. So, why KBS went there? They said they were in that place. When they noticed that um, Olori TikTok came there, Olori TikTok is not in the palace, so don't forget. She is still in Ikoi with her children because, according to their culture and tradition, she cannot come into the palace and stay. She cannot come and have a good relationship, as in kind of romantic relationship with Kabiesi after giving birth until Kabiesi welcomes her and the babies back to the palace. And you know that this welcoming back goes with certain form of rituals. And if KBSC did not do those things and start having anything to do with her again, it is going to cause KBSC a serious problem from what we are hearing. Then, it is not forthcoming for all of the TikTok. They say she was, as in, she is worried, so much worried. And ever since the news of Phenomi moving to the royal manor got to her, they say she has not been herself. At first, they, there was a time they said she almost went into the pre, pre You know, ever since then, she has been restless. She has been acting uh, uh, somehow wide and all of that. Even to the point they said sometimes she, she refused to eat. Sometimes she would just sit and be talking to herself, looking in one direction. I wonder what her problem is. Maybe she over-expected Kabiesi too much and the uh, high expectations uh, high expectations we are not forthcoming at some point they say she started claiming that uh, if there's anyone who deserves to be in that royal manner that it should be her after all she has twins for kbsc the twins that a lot of people are saying that no be kbsc gets no be me talk amona so i hear them so with this information going on they say she have come to that place to come and let kbsc know that kbsc betrayed her that kbsc use her and dump her that KBSC, that she is very, very angry. But the funny part of it is that they said, even when KBSC noticed that she was there, they said KBSC did not even do I as if he he knows that Olori TikTok was there. She stayed and stayed and stayed. She cannot come to where they are now because of, uh, unless KBSC asks her to come, you know? So Igbi, who also noticed the her movement, have been watching her. At some point, even when KBSC have finished what he came there to do, kind of bless them, pray for them, and everything, they say KBSC was still waiting, you know. And Olori TikTok, TikTok was expecting that KBSC would have said, okay, bring her in, let me know why she is here. 
but he did not do any of that. When she waited and waited and waited, they said Igbi decided to go and mock her because I know it is mocking not to go and check why she said she's there. But she went there to mock her because when your co-wife uh, is coming to ask you how far, how far, what have you come here to do? Even when she know that uh, you have a problem and all of that, it is called mocking and not uh, care. <laughs> so when um, when EB got to where she is and asked her, what are you doing here? Why are you not with your children? Why are you why are you following us? Are you kind of uh, marking us? They said she told Igby that look, I am not here for you, and you better respect yourself and go back. Igby said no, that it is her business. Why are you here to embarrass yourself? Because it is obvious that you have come here to embarrass yourself because you know that KBSC will not listen to you. KBSC will not even uh, spend a minute with you, let alone. Uh, giving you the opportunity of voicing out or anything. They said at that moment, she started raising voice for Igby. Igby, on the other hand, instead of respecting herself to go back to where she was sitting with KBS, they said Igby was responding to her anger. Uh, as an, she, you know, she was speaking out of anger. She is so hot, <laughs> so bitter. And when, you, when people like that talk, you find out that they don't get peace at all. And why uh, Olori TikTok was just pouring it her anger, pouring out her anger, how she feels, how KBSC have betrayed her, how KBSC used her and dumped her. They say she was very, very angry. Even from, from the tone of her voice, you find out that if she see Poi Poi that time, she will give it to anyone around. And at some point, they say he told her to shut up, go back to wherever you are coming from. Hey, it looks as if they have pork raisin in a burning fire already. That is how they said he that if not for the one of the security that followed one of the guards that followed Igby to go and see her, she she should <laughs> she almost pushed Igby down and, and told Igby that I know that it is all your plan for me to be out there so that you'll be following KBSC uh, anywhere she, uh, he is going to. That if you ever come to, if you've crossed my line again that she's going to deal with Igby, at that point they said Igby was laughing. You know that when someone is mocking, like I said earlier, she went there to, uh, to go and mock uh, all of the TikTok and not to go and care why she, why she came there, uh, what she have come there to do. They said at that point, they started creating some people who were looking at them. Both the people that, in the, the village that they went to go and visit and, and a lot of people are asking, why would this uh, all of the TikTok go, go there? Why would she follow them? Why can't she wait? Maybe call KBC on phone. Or even send someone to go and speak on her behalf. Because you know that the kind of anger in her this time, it will spoil things for her if she's not careful enough. Anyway, guys, that is her business and not mine. Don't forget that these are all alleged information, okay? Always bear that in mind. Give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel and share my video. Bye. I love you guys. See you.